let's remove the PCV valve from the Nissan Frontier. You want to be careful that you don't break the hose or crack it. When we look inside the old valve, we can see carbon build up into it, and you would shake it. This one still, the ball still rattles, so that means it's still in operating function. Once the ball stop rattling inside the PCV valve, once the valve stop rattling inside the PCV valve, it means that carbon has completely built up inside its passageway preventing the valve from opening and closing according to vacuum suction so we're going to replace this one with a new one but first we must place some thread sealer on the new PCV valve here's the new one and this one is clean inside so the valve will move around much freely. This engine is monitored by a mass airflow sensor. So it is very important that you place a sealer on the threads and all gaskets relating to the intake or the air induction system. be easier if we remove the hose next to the valve. We don't really want to do that because that might give us something extra to break. It's easier to replace the hose if you apply some oil to the spout. This will be a very tough hose to remove, so use care. Chances are it will become crack, so you might want to have one to replace at the same time.
forget to place your clamp back in the position it was removed. This have completed our installation of the PCV valve for the Nissan Frontier 3300. And these are the tools that are required for its replacement. A 19 millimeter socket, a pliers, a flat tip screwdriver, and a long needle nose pliers.